Welcome to all of you to our Meet Us transition events for 2021. I'm really looking forward to finally meeting you all face to face. We were incredibly proud to have received over 760 applications to incoming year seven for 2021. You are the successful 283, and I'm really excited for the work that's going to take place with you over the course of the next five years and the continued transformation of Brunkcliffe Academy into becoming what we believe is a truly exceptional world-class academy. Now tonight is about you getting to know a little bit more about us, meeting your form tutor, finding out more about the academy and having this as one of your key transition events. I'm also incredibly excited to talk to you about our summer transition experience, which you will now know a little bit about. But essentially, this is a week that we are offering to you to come into the school during the summer holidays and experience unique opportunities with us around curriculum, so academic experiences, but also some really exciting events such as a large 100% attendance event. We've got virtual reality events taking place. So please make sure that you give your permissions to come so that you can experience our academy before you start here with us in September. Now tonight is about your parents and carers also having reassurances around transition and your experiences ready for September. It's really important for me that I outline to you that we are unapologetic around our expectations around standards. Now, the reason why we are so successful and young people here thrive is because of positive discipline. It's the heart of what we do. Every young person is allowed the opportunity to thrive in their lessons because of those high expectations and standards around behaviour. Positive discipline is about rewarding you every single day, every single lesson. We do that through your student planner. So you will be provided in September with a student planner, which will become a fundamental part of your student equipment. You will bring that every day and in lessons, teachers will stamp and reward you every time you put in effort, every time you answer a question, every time you show that you are working really hard. We want to positively reward every child for getting it right. But also the other side of that is there are consequences when you don't get it right. And we don't apologize for that. We want to teach young people how to be good citizens. And here at Brunkcliffe Academy, we have five core values. And these are at the heart of what we do. The first core value is around community. We want everybody within our school to have a sense of belonging whether that be part of our student leadership team, our transition team, our eco leader team, or whether that be through our house system. Our second core value is around productivity. It's important that every day positively shapes the future, positively shapes your future. So we are all productive. We don't waste time and positive discipline helps support that. The next important value is around inclusivity. We celebrate and embrace difference. We want everybody to again feel valued and a part of our community. So being different is something which we celebrate. We want everybody to be respected. Integrity. This is about being honest, being responsible, again, being good citizens. And finally, it's around ambition. We want every young person who comes to Broncliffe Academy to be ambitious for themselves and others around them, but also for us as a school. We want you to have that gift of choice that Mrs Griffiths always talks about in terms of the Gorse Academy's trust. We want you to go on and have options for your future, which are perhaps beyond what you'd ever imagined. So September is going to be really exciting for you. Please use tonight as an opportunity to ask as many questions as you can and find out more about us. But I'm incredibly excited to meet you during our summer experience. So we will see you in the week over the summer holidays, but also to meet with you formally as a Year 7 Brunkcliffe Academy student in September. Thank you.
Good evening. My name is Mrs Fowler and I am the Assistant Principal for Behaviour and Standards here at Brunkcliffe Academy. This evening I would like to briefly go over our positive discipline policy and as Mrs Moore said our positive discipline policy is our behaviour policy here in the Academy. As Mrs Moore said we are unapologetic about the high standards that we have for our students. We believe that setting high standards and expectations for each and every one of our students means that students can come to school and learn in an environment that is free from distraction and allow the teachers to be able to teach fantastic lessons that are engaging, fun and ultimately allow every student to make the best possible progress they can. Over the course of this evening, you will have received information already around uniform, equipment, PE kit and I would like to briefly go over how our positive discipline policy works on a day-to-day -day basis. The positive discipline policy is twofold, rewards and sanctions for misdemeanours in the classroom or around the academy. We feel that rewarding students for positive behaviour, engaging in lessons and fantastic pieces of work is really important. The student planner pay, plays a pivotal role in our positive discipline system. Students are awarded stamps in each and every lesson by their teachers. Those stamps turn into credits, which then follow into certificates, and then ultimately allow the students access to our yearly positive discipline trip, along with our reward ceremony at the start of the next academic year. Rewards is at the heart of everything we do, not just in the classroom, where students are showing our core values, they are being good citizens around the academy, they're conducting themselves with integrity, staff will also reward students for those positive behaviours around the academy. Getting involved in extracurricular activities or enrichment activities, students will also be rewarded for attending and their fantastic work that they will do within those sessions. With rewards comes the sanctions and we have very high expectations and, and we make no apologies for those high expectations that we have. We need to make sure that students understand the boundaries that are set in place through the positive discipline policy and that comes through our sanctions within the classroom and around the academy. It is a fair system. We understand that students uh, will make mistakes every now and again and we afford students the opportunity to have a verbal warning in lessons before we follow through with any formal sanctions. If students continue with their poor behaviour in lessons, there is a clear system in place whereby students are given negative comments within the lesson. These can be tracked through the student planner and as parents and carers, you will be able to monitor your child's behaviour in the academy through their planner each evening. It's an expectation that planner, uh, planners are signed by parents on a weekly basis. And again, during that positive discipline lesson each week, your child will have that one-to-one -one conversation with their form teacher who will discuss any negative comments along with all the rewards that they get each week. Along with the negative comments in student planners, which are monitored and tracked by the form teacher and the pastoral support officer for the year group weekly, we also have other sanctions in place. We have detentions, which are set weekly, and parents would be notified via text message prior to that detention so that arrangements can be made for your child to get home safely. Our most serious sanction in school that we have is an isolation. If a student was placed into isolation, the pastoral support officer for the year group will be in communication with you prior to your, your child going into isolation. And then a series of interventions will be able to be put into place to support your child in making the positive choices when they finish that sanction. We are really lucky here at Brunkcliffe Academy to have an extensive and supportive pastoral team. Year seven students will have a dedicated pastoral support officer, and that will be Mr. Swain, who will oversee the day-to-day -day running of the year group. There will also be a dedicated attendance leader who will monitor attendance for the year group on a day-to-day -day basis. And then we also will have a member of the senior leadership team who will be linked to the year group. The pastoral support officer will be your key contact on a day-to-day -day basis. Also the key contact for parents if you have any queries or questions around things that are happening in school. It is a really exciting time coming to high school and we want you to make sure that you know that you have a team around you who you can speak to as well as your form teacher and your subject teachers. We really look forward to welcoming you here at Brunkcliffe Academy. If you have any questions in regard to positive discipline, please do ask the member of staff in the room this evening before you leave or you can check our positive discipline policy on our academy website.